Four reasons why Ripple's digital asset XRP is not a security. Ripple and its digital asset, XRP have been in the spotlight throughout the whole year. Investors either love the coin or hate it, and more voices in the cryptosphere and outside of it have been accusing XRP of being a security. The SEC itself did not decide yet how to class the digital asset. A while ago the SEC stated very clearly that they don't view Bitcoin and Ethereum as securities, so they left these two coins alone in terms of the SEC regulation. Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse has been defending XRP on various occasions explaining each and every time why the digital asset is not a security. Ripple and XRP are separate entities although they have been confused continuously by crypto speculators and by the media as well. The fact that Ripple owns 60% of the supply of XRP tokens was not too helpful. Anyway, here are the three main reasons highlighted by Garlinghouse to prove that XRP is simply not a security. To these three reasons, a former SEC member adds the fourth element to motivate the fact that RPS not a security. XRP can function without Ripple first of all, Garlinghouse said that if Ripple the company were to shut down tomorrow, the XRP ledger would continue its operations. Its open source and decentralized tech exists independent of Ripple. Buying XRP doesn't give you ownership of Ripple. Secondly, people who are buying XRP they don't think that they're buying shares of Ripple. Here's a company called Ripple. We are a private company, we have investors but buying XRP doesn't give you ownership of Ripple, it doesn't give you access to dividends or profits that come from Ripple, he said. XRP solves problems and last, XRP is solving problems, and securities do not have utility. XRP passes the how he test the fourth reason for which Ripple's XRP is not a security is given by a former SEC member. Michael Didiak, a former member of SEC, has said that RP is a currency and not a security because it passes the Howey test. Don't think XRP is a security. I think XRP is a currency. The reason why is Howey test it's a four-factor test, investment of money in a common enterprise with the expectation of profits based on the efforts of others, he said a while ago. XRP is not a security and the SEC will recognize it, says Ripple's chief market strategist. Corey Johnson, the chief market strategist for Ripple, recently appeared on an interview to speak about regulations in the cryptocurrency space. Moreover, he also spoke about the status of XRP as a security in the eyes of the United States Securities and Exchanges Commission SEC. XRP, as a cryptocurrency, remains in a zone of regulatory uncertainty regarding its status as a security. The declaration of the asset as a security would result in the ecosystem being more closed, as investors would find it more difficult to get into the space. Moreover, this would throw a wrench in Ripple's plans of using XRapid, as exchange platforms may not continue to list the coin. However, Johnson gave his two cents on the matter in an interview with Cointelegraph, T's really clear to us that XRP is not a security. XRP's relationship to Ripple is a proof of that. But maybe more importantly, you've also got the XRP you can buy all the XRP you want, it doesn't give you the rights to a dime of the company's profits, or earnings per share, or dividends. Doesn't give you a single share or any interest in the future of this company. Furthermore, he went on to say that even if Ripple, the company, was to owe it would not make a bit of difference to XRP. This is due to the fact that the XRP ledger continues to exist separate from Ripple, stated Johnson. He went on to elaborate, or that reason, I think when the SEC takes a good hard look at this, and we know that they're starting to use that work, they're going to recognize, I suspect, that XRP is so clearly not a security. He also spoke about the protection of the investor, which is generally seen as the end goal of regulators in the financial space. He stated that there have been rooks who show up to steal money when there are new ways to make it. He stated, E certainly see it in everything. We saw it in atomic energy, we saw it in the oil and gas sector way back we certainly saw it in the dot-com era, and we saw it in supreme financing. We've seen it in the world of crypto. 
We've seen these really sleazy offerings that look like they're not actually trying to start businesses, but just separate people from their money. This has caused the SEC to step in, driving investor protections to emerge all around the world. However, Johnson stated that it didn't happen fast enough going on to say that it makes it difficult for those who are pursuing edutainment technological solutions to do so.